hello welcome to another tutorial with Aaron today we're going to be tackling another um, tutorial that will help improve your beginner lessons uh, which is the add nine chord all right so um, last year I did a couple of videos for beginners and this channel is geared towards um, beginners and then intermediate level players um, we want you to be able to listen to songs and then play them in the simplest way possible with the basic chords that you know all right so the beginner quotes is on my website which is in the description box and then the playlist also is in the description box with about 36 videos that you can learn from so we are going to be continuing with the videos that we did and we're going to be upgrading our knowledge so a recap of everything that we did all right so i'm going to be using uh, key c as our reference point but at the end of the day in all the videos that are up to come i'm going to be tackling every key here for you all right so those of you who are joining us for the very first time uh if you are not familiar with all the keys go back and learn and um those of you who are requesting for a particular song in this key particular song in this key learn how to play that key so that you'll be able to play anywhere that you have been uh where you find yourself to be at any particular point in time all right so we did a that's the scale for every key all right so we did a one two three four five six seven one which is the number system and then we equated the number system to the sulfur system. So we have one to be do, two to be re, three to be mi, fa to be four, five to be so, six to be la, seven to be t, and then one back to do, or eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, you know, most of you, you've been seeing uh, chord extensions like this. You see 13 and you're like, what is happening? It's just the number system. All right. So today, what we're going to be doing is the add nine, as I said. Okay. So what is the theory behind the add nine? All right. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you're continuing, this becomes nine. And nine is the same notes as two. So one, two, and the same as nine. All right. So when I play my triad, and then I add the nine to it, it becomes an add nine. I'm adding the nine to it. Okay. So in the key of C, this is the second note. All right. In the key. Now, um. In our previous lesson, I didn't teach you about whole step, half step, intervals. Uh, we're going to be doing it uh, in the next video. Okay, let me teach you now. All right, so if this is uh, my key, all right, when I move to the next key, available key, then right immediately the next key, it becomes a half step or a semitone. Then when I move to the next one, it becomes from here, this distance to this distance is a, a, a whole step or a, a, a tone. Okay. So from here to here is a semitone. From here to here is a tone or a full step or a half step, full step with C being our reference point. All right. So with that being said, um, this is a... extending my hand to that far meanwhile this note is the same as this one all right so instead of stretching like this i can just play like this so it is one the formula is one two three five first 
time I learned this code, I was so happy. You know, it adds so much flavor to the chord that you're playing. So um, let's do with the major chords in the key of C. When we finish, then we move on to the minor. All right. So for the major chords in C, we know we have one, four, and then five. So now this is chord four. So this is our chord four. And then how do we play our add ninth in the chord four? We know this is F. All right, this is F major. And if you've been with me previously, you would know the scale for F. So this is F. Now you look for the two notes or the nine notes, okay? And then the nine notes is the same as the two notes, which is the re. So you look for re, and then this becomes re in the key of F. You get your, your hard nine like this, okay? So from here, we move on to the fifth chord, which is our G. And still C is our reference point, so we have a one. So this is G. I've taught you the key of G. All right. This is why it is so important to go back and then you know refresh your mind or learn if you don't know. So this G. So as simply put, from G you go a semitone, a tone. You get your two like this. Okay. So you can do a one. trials for you to listen to it and then compare all right so it's like this. so nice all right so that being done for the major let's move on to the minor so this is uh, our chord two we've done for chord one chord four chord five now let's move on to chord two our chord two we can play a minor ninth all right most of the times i like playing minor ninth for chord six okay
uh, it's part of the exercises I do. So you should know how to play from. something different like this minor seven but so since we are learning a minor nine like this okay so this uh triad what you do is semitone full tone so it's like this minor nine minor add nine we are adding the nine and in adding the nine you take that note as your key or, or your reference and you look for the second note which is the chord two or note two in that or the re in that key and then you incorporate it into the key that you're playing and that becomes your, your add nine so we've done So you move semitone tone, then you go. Alright, so that is As for uh, the diminished, um, we'll leave it at that for now. I'll get into it later on. We'll be doing purely diminished chords and augmented chords and how to use them. So for today, I'm going to be dealing with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out. We'll deal on that one on its own. All right. So now when you form your add nine whatever key you're playing all right okay then you can do the diminished add nine but we are not talking about that one and then um you can do inversions for them now what will happen is if you have one two three four notes that means we're going to be having this is the root chord in this particular context you're going to be having uh three other inversions so you can have first inversion like this so if you're going to be playing like on the left you can just shift it Instead of first second inversion you have a third inversion because we have four notes we have the roots the first second and then the third if we had five notes it's going to be a uh, root first second third fourth all right making um, five chords in a whole so that's for your tutorial today and um, let me try and see to play it uh, with a the uh, minor chord like
for being a part of this tutorial god bless you and see you in the next tutorial where we talk about another key um hopefully the next uh, tutorial since i've done the introduction for this uh, video i'm not going to be doing any introduction we just go in and then start learning so the next tutorial hopefully i should be able to do about three keys for you so we complete the 12 key then we'll come back to another chord uh, seventh uh, chords right. sorry the seventh chords and then uh, there's also a six right like this so we'll be continuing with the chords and then how to use them so god bless you for being a part of this uh, tutorial keep on sharing and subscribing click on the notification bell so that anytime i post you can get my notification god bless you